Okay, let's take a moment to look at our what we call 32 magic, and this is our 3-2 zone. And we have two versions of it. We have what we call the 32 base and then the 32 extend. And 32, obviously, because you have three up front and two down on the block. But 32 base is where our number five player, and typically we want a player with a lot of reach, a lot of deflections to be up here at the top. But in 32 base, we are basically, we like to go man, but it's good to be able to change between zone and man a little bit to keep the offense uh, not feeling comfortable. So if we go into a zone 32 base, what we're basically saying is that they can't shoot jump shots and we're really packing it in. This is great for teams that love to drive and you want to really keep the driving uh, at a minimum. So when... What we do on 32 base is we never let the ball get to the high post. We never let this pass happen. So in the base, our number five is, is daring this person to shoot a three, and we're, we're keeping ourselves aware of where the high post is. If there's no high post, if they're in a look like this, then we can come out, but we have to have our head on a swivel to know that if this comes up, we do not let that pass happen. We're more conservative in that regard. And then the wings are just looking for a deflection on, off a pass. Um, we're extending it. We're making it difficult. So if they do go to that, that corner or to that wing, then we've got two playing defense. Obviously, four is coming out. Five is uh, sliding down, and one is coming all the way across. And that's what we, we look like in this set. If it goes to the corner... We want one coming all the way up high. Five's got to protect that because we don't want to let them reverse the ball back around. In a zone, you want to keep the ball on that side of the court. So if it goes to the left side, we people are not comfortable with their left hand, and so we want that ball in the corner. We want one to come all the way out so that it's really got to be a skip pass to reverse it. And so we'll have a, a look that looks a lot like this. So even if that ball does come back here, now we're making it difficult. We're not one's not down in here, one's taking away that passing lane. Maybe making them extend it all the way out here. So let's look at that one more time just to kind of get a feel for how that that looks. It's our three two base. So the ball comes to the wing. One is closing out. Five is going to make sure we're, and two's coming across like that. We're okay for it to go around the other way. So two might not be extending that amount. The ball goes here. Now two is stopping and then retreating. Five's coming back up. We're back at this set. Ball goes to, the, to there. Two's closing out. Five's protecting. One's coming across. The minute that goes to the corner, one's coming up. Four's coming out. Three's all the way over. We're flooding that side of the zone. We're keeping that ball. Even if it gets here, we're keeping that ball. We're going to make them go back and forth here. We're going to make them uncomfortable. Now the 32 extend looks a little bit like this. Same concept. But now we're extending, and we're really looking to make this person uncomfortable, and we're looking for deflections. Now, what we do in this situation is not one or two takes five. We actually take on the look of a 1-3-1. One, one. Four and three talk, and one of them keeps that ball from getting in the high post. So even when we're in base extend, we never let the high post have the ball. We always have to come up and deny, and then we're starting to look more like a 1-3-1. One, so a 32 extend can turn into a 131, but not always, because sometimes um, people leave that post down in this lower block area. Um, but if they ever bring that post flash in, we've got to on 32 extend, we're extending out and we're making it more difficult. Um, so we begin to take on a 131. Let me show you again just one more time to see in the base. I think one of the questions that often comes up is that pass to the corner. What does that look like? And so when that pass goes to the corner, 
we've got four coming all the way out and three is coming all the way across. I don't know if I made that clear in my earlier comments. Two's coming here and five's down there. So three is coming all the way across when we go. So if we, as the ball rotates, you know, if you call one supposed to be here doing his job, but let's say they, that that doesn't happen and we're rotating back, everybody's rotating back, if that ball comes here and it gets to the corner, it is not one that's going to the corner. It's three that's coming all the way out, and four is coming all the way over, and five's taking that away. So we start to look like that. We're always flooding that side. So the thing to remember then for four and three is you have the balls over here, you have that, and three, you're coming all the way across. The ball's over here, three, you're, you've got that, and four, you're coming all the way across. That's our 32 uh, magic. The set looks like that. You have the base where the high post is defending, the high, where the middle guy is not letting a high post pa pass happen whatsoever. And then you've got the extend where we're extending it out. And if they do have a high post, one of these two is taking that away. So we start to look more like a 1-3-1. One, one. That is our 32 magic and our 32 extend.